my video today covers the where I left off previously on the the, uh, the clock video. When you think of Coggeshall, the common iconic image that comes to mind is the clock tower. It is immediately recognisable. Consider the age of the clock which has been running in its current form since 1888. In 2023 terms that makes it 135 years old. But the idea hidden in its mechanism is even older, 442 years. I'm talking about the pendulum. In 1581 when Galileo was studying medicine he noticed a swinging chandelier which air currents were shifting about causing it to swing in larger and smaller arcs. To him it seemed by comparison with his heartbeat that the chandelier took the same amount of time to swing backwards and forwards no matter how far it was swinging. Galileo conducted several experiments with pendulums. It is popularly believed that these began by watching the swings of the bronze chandelier in the Cathedral of Pizza using his pulse as a timer. Galileo claimed that a simple pendulum is isochronous i.e. that its swings always take the same amount of time independently of the amplitude. In fact, this is only approximately true. Galileo also found that the square of the period varies directly with the length of the pendulum. That is, the shorter the pendulum, the faster it swings. Towards the end of his life, Galileo designed a clock escapement based on his findings. But he never got to actually build it, although his son did. The pendulum was used in domestic clocks and with the rise of the fashionable pocket watches in Victorian times, the pendulum had to be turned into the balance wheel mechanism which works on the same principle. In the Coggeshall Museum there happens to be a railwayman's watch on display. It's called the Goliath and although many watch experts would agree that the American railway watches were far superior in their timekeeping. Recently on one of my trips to London with Glastonbury Gabriel, I was presented courtesy of Jeff Kellison with two antique American railway grade watches. A Hamilton Ball 999B and a bun special 60 hour. The ball watch was built in 1949 but the bun special 60 hour was built in 1928 which makes it 40 years younger than the current Coggeshall clock. Both of these watches have been donated by Jeff Kellison and they were expertly restored by Mohammed of Variety Time Clock and Watch Repairs in Dalston, London. And they are remarkable works of art. Both watches are significant pieces of American history. The significance of the American Railway Watch is quite a story. 
Before the development of railroads across the United States, there was no need for standardization of time or any real accuracy in timekeeping. Each town kept its own local time based on the position of the sun. And when trains began to connect distant cities, it became problematic and difficult to avoid collisions. Moreover, there were no policies or standards for the watches used by the railroad employees. On April the 19th, 1891, a head-on collision between two trains in Kipton, Ohio, resulted in several deaths. At the time, trains were using the same single lines in opposite direction and had to cross each other at a defined crossing point at a certain time. That day, one of the conductor's watches had stopped for four minutes, leading to the fatal collision. In order to make train rides safer for travellers and employees of the railroads, Webb C. Ball who one of the watches was named after, was designated Chief Time Inspector. And he set up tests and standards for all watches used on the trains. John W. Bunn developed a very close friendship with the statesman and lawyer Abraham Lincoln. And at the time, Bunn was an active participant in the development of industrial production of pocket watches for the railroads. And he served as a founder, director and vice president of the Illinois Watch Company of Springfield, Illinois. A railroad chronometer or railroad standard watch is a specialized timepiece that was, a cru was crucial for the safe and correct operation of trains in many countries. A system of timetable and train order which relied on highly accurate timekeeping was used to ensure that two trains could not be on the same stretch of track at the same time. I brought both of these watches home on a train from London and it's good to have them in Coggeshall under the watchful eye of the Coggeshall clock.